Welcome to Cretonia Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm Bree. And we're going to tackle some Marvel Crisis Protocol tonight. Uh, we're going to do a rangefinder. I have decided that for the Marvel Crisis Protocol, I'm going to kind of do like a hero, a villain, and a piece of terrain or an accessory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do an accessory real quick. So I just grabbed the Range 4 Rangefinder for absolutely no reason other than this is the one I felt like grabbing. Um, I sprayed it black, pulled out my Vallejo Blue Magic, because as we mentioned before, we're using the Vallejo paints only on these Crisis Protocol figs for no other reason than I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, so this one, we're just going to paint this whole thing other than the raised areas with that blue magic here. Uh, it's going to take possibly up to two coats to really get it done, but we're going to do the tops. We're going to do the sides. We're going to ignore the bottom completely. This is a short video, Brie. This has lasted like four or five minutes. I was going to say this is this real quick. This is going to be bada bing, bada boom. What this does for you on your games is this is going to be really striking when you're able to take out range finders that have different colors on them and put them down on the table to measure your distances. It's going to keep you in the immersion of the game because this one looks like some kind of I don't know, like smoky energy effect or like a fire effect. I don't know why I did it blue. Actually, I do know why I did it blue. There's a reason. But anyway, the next level ne glad. next level is going to be the Vallejo model color Andrea blue. And we're just going to paint this right over the blue magic, but we're going to leave a little bit of the blue magic visible uh, right next to all those raised areas. So that kind of flamey, fumey, whatever we're going to call that. And right next to the four. Uh, the four is actually the reason I painted this blue. Because blue four? No, I thought about doing, yeah, blue, blue four and after. Blue. Uh, uh, boo. Uh, boo. Blue. 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 <laughs> it's blue. No, actually, uh, I was going to paint this a, a red because uh, I thought it did kind of look like maybe it was like flame bursts or uh, it's actually the range of Cyclops' optic blast. And I know I'll be adding him to my team. Pew, pew. Um, and then I was like, wait a minute, a four. I thought about the fantastic four. And they're blue. And they do blue. So I was like, okay, well, I don't know why this just led me down that road. I don't think they make Fantastic Four for this game yet. I don't, know. I don't think so. So anyway, uh, we're just going to paint this Andrea blue um, over all those areas, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you're going to see that darker blue there. It's going to look more noticeable in, in just a couple steps here. Yeah. Um, so this next step, we're taking another blue, which I apparently did not record on the camera. Oh, you're a slacker. I know. This it's is yet another blue. This, this is actually the game color electric blue is what this is. Uh, so it's, it's basically one stage brighter than the Andrea blue, and that's all you're doing. If you're not using the Vallejos, you can use any brain. Uh, any brain. Uh, Don't use brain. Use your brains. Don't uh, brains. Monkey brains. Paint with monkey brains. Nope. Monkey mm -hmm. brains are soup. Uh, oh. Anyway, you can use any brand you want. Um, just kind of pick a... I went with a mid-tone and then a lighter and then a lightest kind of blue. You could also do it with a dark to medium to light. You could do uh, just three darks that are slightly progressively lighter. But I started with a mid-tone on mine, and that's all we're doing. And we're leaving, again, some of that Andrea blue visible, and we're leaving that blue magic visible closest to the edges. And then we're pulling out this glacier blue, which I am a big fan of these days. Mm-hmm. I like this color a lot. Um, I think it's similar to the old, old Citadel Space Wolves gray or the P3 uh, Frostbite. Yeah. Uh, and I'm doing all of the raised areas in this color, the the Fushi colors. I don't know. You, what, what? I don't know what we describe it. Is this like a flame effect or an energy effect? Or what is that uh, wispiness? I would say it's an energy effect. An energy effect. Yeah. So anyway, all the raised areas we're doing with this. And this took, I think it took three coats because I did uh, water it down a fair amount because I wanted it really thin. Um, so I did do three coats in this, but they go very, very quickly. Uh, cause you're, again, you're just kind of painting these raised areas. Um, did it three times and, uh, that, that was, that's basically it. This that's is all you a, did. This is an easy video. It, this doesn't have to look as good as a model. It's a gaming accessory. You're, you're putting it on the table when you need it. It's coming back off the table. It's just something visually striking that you can look at. And, it's, go, and, pretty. and it looks kind of neat. It'll look good in your game tables. So that's it. Short video this week. We'll be back next week with a hero. Like and subscribe for more content. Hit that bell button for notification. And keep playing games on Marvel Crisis Protocol. Bye! Yee. Yee. I'd say we pimp a lot of free advertising, but we're not that popular. No, we're not. No. But hey, pretty. Look at the pretty.